our strategy has been to collect and also interact with our colleagues in West Africa and then use this knowledge which has been generated over time to actually and start uh, to start testing it in Southern Africa. So some of the things we've been doing is testing varieties, testing management practices, testing post-harvest technologies, as well as uh, actually doing a cross-cutting activity, which is training in some of the national programs where we're working. If I give you just a historical perspective, IITA has been operating in Southern Africa for over 25 years. We had actually worked in almost 12 of the 13 countries in Southern Africa. Over time, we have been looking at each country in terms of the contribution to agriculture, policies towards agriculture, and also in terms of the easy of doing work in a particular country, because we, we need to look at things like accessibility to the airport, uh, social enmities like um, hospitals, schools for scientists, and also, more importantly, the availability of partners. So after a much search, we found that actually, one, Zambia was centrally located. The government policies have, um, over time, been actually very much pro-agriculture. There are lots of international schools in Zambia. There are a lot of um, access to private farms, there is access to private partners, there is also lots of nurse. It is very crucial. IITA is supposed to save the needs of sub-Saharan Africa. And in West Africa, we have actually made significant progress, especially in Nigeria, where the headquarters is based. If I use the example of soybean, when we started uh, Nigeria, was nowhere near uh, the countries that were high producers in, in soybean. But right now is the highest producer in Africa, producing about 600,000 hectares of the crop. Given um, this achievement, it is actually important that we start now uh, transferring the knowledge generated here to, to other areas of Africa. Through that arrangement, we can actually better save Africa. There are lots of similarities between West and Southern Africa. I think they have similar challenges. So some of the successes we have already made in, in West Africa can, with little modification, be transferred to Southern Africa and easily be applied there. And this has been actually our strategy. Well, I don't think that anything will, in the short run, anything will radically change. The CG reform, what has happened is that it has split some of our programs. Let's say the cereals and legumes program has been split into two. The, the maize portfolio now goes into the maize CRP, the component, and then the legumes goes into the, the legume component of the, the CRP. But on the other hand, other programs also have been consolidated. If you look at our root and tuber crops program, it has been under the CRP arrangement. It has now been consolidated with the bananas and, and plantains program, which has actually made it, which has made it bigger. These, to me, are just minor modifications in the, in the short run. But when we look at the way we manage our programs at, in IIT, I don't think anything significant will change, though. In the long run, I see we need to make a few adjustments here and there. CG reform, we entail that we do for full cost recovery. So that means the way we do business has to change. So I think maybe to summarize that this CG reform has its advantages and, um, and disadvantages. But I think that overall, it is for the good of the Institute. Issues of resolving poverty, malnutrition, food security cannot be resolved by IITA alone. IITA can contribute something, but that something alone is not enough. What we need to do as IITA is look at where our comparative advantage is, and I think is in upstream and strategic research, 
where we don't have any comparative advantage, let's look at other people who can actually help us. Traditionally, you know, we have worked with uh, what we normally call the NAS, which are the national programs. But I think right now, within this um, CG reform, we have actually opportunities also to tap and strengthen our linkages with the, the private sector. Let's take advantage of the, the skills the private sector have, especially in marketing technologies. You know, these guys are very good in branding, in packaging, and they already have existing channels they use to promote their technologies.